In this video, I want to show you guys 15 programs that every Windows user should use. And all these programs are actually used by me. This is not like I picked some random softwares from the internet. I'm making the list and video. No, all these softwares actually stay on my system and I actually use them. This is something that I do almost every year because every year there are some changes to the softwares that I use. There are some new ones, some stay as it is. So this video is like, what softwares do I use? So now let's begin the video because we have 15 softwares to cover. And I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible. Let's begin. So the first program in the list is called VMware Workstation. This is a virtual machine software. Using this, you can run multiple operating systems within your OS without installing them on your actual hardware. I'm pretty sure most of you guys already know what virtual machine is. So this is basically the best virtual machine software out there. Yes, it is even better than virtual box, which is free and open source. This thing is not open source, but this is free. This used to be a paid software, but now this is available for free for everyone and trust me this is the best virtual machine software for windows for mac even linux if you're a linux user you might prefer the kvm because kvm is actually the best virtual machine software out there but if you're not a linux user then vmware workstation is the best one yes it is even better than hyper-v downloading this can be a bit tricky because you need to create an account and then log in and then you have to find the vmware workstation file which can be tricky again but don't worry i have made a video in this how to download this and all that and uh, just look at these comments thank you thank you thank you because this is actually tricky to download even though it's now available for free next program in the list are actually three programs uh, first one uh, is msi app player this is a really good android emulator based on bluestacks if you use android emulators you already know what bluestacks is it is one of the most popular android emulator but not everybody likes that emulator so this is kind of like better version of Bluestacks. I have done a dedicated video in this. So you can go and watch that video if you're into it. And second one, I also use Mumu Player 12. This is actually my favorite Android emulator because this is, in my opinion, the fastest Android emulator. Plus, it uses less resources and also runs on Android 12. I have been using this Android emulator for a long time now, and this is just my favorite android emulator and the third android emulator that i use is google play games for pc yes this is a official android emulator to play android games on your pc this is from the google okay so there are a couple of games that i have downloaded you can see clash royale and this also works really well to play android games third program in the list is called bleach bit this is a free and open source software to clean up your PC. I've been using this software for ages now. I have done a multiple videos in this software. I also do a video on best PC cleaning software every year, and this has never changed. This is still the best software to clean your PC. Next program is called Nana Zep. This is a new software that I'm using. Actually, I replaced this software with 7-Zip. I used to use 7-Zip, but now I use this one because uh, it is basically a 7-Zip, but it looks modern. And it also supports right-click menu of Windows 11. And I did a dedicated video in this software too, and someone told me that Nana also means 7 in Japanese. So it's basically a 7-Zip, even in the name. So yeah, it's based on 7-Zip. Next in the list is called Bulk Crap Uninstaller. This is a software that I use to uninstall softwares from my system. And it does the leftover and registry cleaning. This is a free and open source program. And I have been using this for a long time now. I saw some comments in my recent videos asking what uninstaller do you use? So yeah, nothing has changed about the uninstaller. I'm still using the BCU because this is free and open source and it actually works really well. Next in the list are two applications. First, SCRCPY Plus. This is a free and open source program to mirror your phone to your PC. So basically you can connect your phone to your PC through USB and you can mirror your phone to your PC just like that. And you can control it using your mouse 
and keyboard. Next one is only for Samsung phones. So if you have a Samsung phone, I suggest you guys to use the software called Samsung Flow. This actually works really well with Samsung phones. The best thing about Samsung Flow is that you can wirelessly mirror and control your phone from your PC. And this actually works really well and you can also change the quality and all that so SCRCPY plus will work with any android phone like samsung non-samsung it doesn't matter but this is only for samsung phones next in the list is called nvidia app this is a new application from nvidia replacing the geforce experience and i actually use this you know there is one funny thing about me i never liked geforce experience app i never used it to update NVIDIA drivers, I actually used to use some third-party applications such as NV Update from GitHub and I also did a video on that. I absolutely hated NVIDIA GeForce Experience app. Now, I actually like NVIDIA app. This one feels more lightweight, plus it looks better, plus you don't need to create a NVIDIA account. And soon it's also going to replace the NVIDIA control panel next in the list is called proton vpn this is a vpn service uh, it has free vpn service plus also a premium vpn service the free vpn service that they provide is unlimited actually you can use this for as long as you want i have been using this for ages now as far as i remember i think it's been almost five to six years and this thing still provides a really good free vpn service i actually did a video in this just recently i think a couple of days ago so this is the free vpn service that i actually use whenever i need a vpn next in the list is called sucrose wallpaper engine this is a free and open source wallpaper engine available at github so i also did a dedicated video in this this. So if you're looking for a free alternative to wallpaper engine available on uh, Steam, then this is the one and I have been using this whenever I need to. I mean, I don't always use this software. Whenever I feel like I need to show off or I just need a live wallpaper, I use this. So a uh, cool thing about this software is that you can also download live wallpapers within this. Next in the list is called Traffic Monitor. This is a free and open source software. And I have been using this software ever since I installed Windows 11 on my system. You can say from 2021, ever since the Windows 11 came out actually. There is this really popular software called NetSpeed Monitor, which shows you the internet download and upload speed on your taskbar, just like this one. But sadly, that software doesn't work on Windows 11. So this is the only software that works similarly to NetSpeed Monitor on Windows 11. Basically, it shows you the internet download and upload speed on your taskbar. And this can be really useful to monitor your internet speed, whether you're getting full internet speed or not, when you're not doing anything. If, you know, internet goes crazy, you can check which software is using your internet and all that. Next step in the list is called Local Send. This is another free and open source software. Using this, you can send files in between your devices your pc to phone phone to pc and all that only thing is that you need to open this on both phone and uh, pc which i prefer because if you want something even better than this you should use quick share from google now this is also available for pc you can share your files in between your phone and pc wirelessly and once you open this application you can keep this on it will run in background and uh, the pc and phone can discover themselves at any time and you can share files with right click on your pc or uh, from your phone you can use the share option and it will discover your pc and all that this is much better than local send actually i don't want to have that feature on my system i prefer local send because i want to manually send files i don't want my phone or pc to be uh, visible all the time i mean you can turn off that one too but i mean you got the idea okay next in the list is called Wintoys. this is a software that i actually use to optimize my windows 11 this thing actually works really well and this is in my opinion the safest software to optimize your windows using this you can change many windows settings that you can't normally find 
uh, in Windows settings. I have done a dedicated video in this and I also do a video on best Windows optimizer and all that. Yeah, this is still the best Windows optimizer in my opinion. Next in the list is called ChatGPT. Almost everybody knows about this by now. <laughs> so basically now ChatGPT has a official application for Windows. So you don't have to visit the website and you can launch ChatGPT with the shortcut keys quickly, like with Alt and Space, it will launch the ChatGPT and you can start asking or whatever you wanna do. You can also browse the internet, which is a new feature uh, at, at least for the free users okay you can also talk to chat gpt using voice mode like have a voice conversation and all that you already know what you can do with the chat gpt i don't have to explain that next step in the list is called split cam i never included this in any of my videos i think even though i have been using this for almost a year now and uh, I use this software mainly for doing a virtual webcam. This has some really cool effects and filters actually, uh, even better than OBS Studio. Uh, if you're looking for a OBS Studio alternative, this can be a good alternative because it's actually much simpler than OBS Studio for the new users. And there are many filters, frames and whatnot. And it also has really good background removal feature. This is something that I use when I'm like doing an online chat with my friends or using Omegle or something, you know, yeah so <laughs> you can also do a face tracking so even if you move your face it will keep you in the center so it's a really good feature and there are many other features that i use mainly again as i said i use this for my webcam it actually works really well i have tried many other softwares for creating a virtual webcams even the obs studio doesn't work that well yeah you can also do screen recording live streaming and whatnot and the final in the list is called Krita. I don't know if I have included this in any of my videos, but I have made a couple of videos in this. So basically this is a software that I use to create thumbnails and edit my photos if I need to. I actually also use Windows Photos app for color correction, removing background, removing objects. Recently made a video on that. Actually, uh, that's the thumbnail that I created for that video. This is a free and open source software. This is meant for digital art, animations and sketches and all that. But you can use this as a Photoshop alternative too. And this actually works really well for a free program. Yeah, I mean, I have been using this for almost two years now and I just love it. And I use some plugins like KKit, and uh, there are some other plugins. If you want me to make a video on what plugins do I use uh, for Krita, then do the comment and maybe I'll make a video on what plugins I use in Krita. It works similarly to Photoshop and that is the reason why I use Krita. So yeah, these are the softwares that I actually use on daily basis or at least have them on my system and whenever I need them, I use them. Now let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about these softwares? Yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or you want to suggest me something, please do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.